Hello, welcome to Yoga with Katie. Today we're going to be doing a slow class. So we're going to start in a comfortable seated position, sitting up nice and tall. Close your eyes, setting your intention for today's class. Focus on your breathing. When you inhale, belly and chest rise like a balloon. And when you exhale, draw the belly button back to the spine. Couple more calming breaths. And we will slowly open up the eyes, wiggling your fingers. Inhale your arms up above the head. Turn the palm out, exhale down. Deep, deep inhale through your nose and deep, deep exhale through your nose. You never hold a breath. Two more. Inhale to lengthen the spine. Exhale down. One last one. Inhale, arms up above the head. Turn the palm out, exhale down. And so the thighs sitting up nice and tall, stretching on the neck, legs, near to shoulder, extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand to guide or support the head, lengthening, stretch, relieving the tension that you may have. One more breath here, and we're going to slowly, slowly bring the head back to the center. Take a breath here, and then we go to the other side. Year to shoulder, extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand, guide or support the head, stretch. If there's any stiffness in your neck, just stay here for a little bit longer. No need to rush. And we're going to slowly, slowly come back to center. Come into a nice circle, half circle first, nice and slow. Go your range of motion. When you're ready, we're going to go into a full circle. Nice and slow with control. Don't speed up to make yourself dizzy. Feel free to close your eyes and listen to my verbal instruction. When you're in the center position, we're going to go the other way, be first. Half circle first. If there's any stiffness, any clicking sound in your neck, just stay there for a little longer. And then we'll go into a full circle. Slowly, slowly come back to center to release. Coming into shoulder stretch, right arm up and across, pull back, creating resistance. Chin is away from the body, looking forward. Pull back. Slowly, slowly release. Same arm up, lengthen first, place the palm behind your back. Use the other hand to guide that one. Tricep stretch, chin up. Looking forward. Slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. The other side, arm up and across. Pull back. Creating resistance. Chin is away from the body. Looking forward. Slowly release. Same arm up. Lengthen first. Place the palm behind your back. Use the other hand to guide the elbow, tricep stretch. Try to bring the elbows to the back of your head. If you can bind hands behind your back, go ahead, bind your hands behind your back. Chin up, looking forward. And we're gonna slowly, slowly release, shake it out, hands on the shoulders, like apple that. Elbows in, elbows up. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Feel the pinch your shoulder blades. Opening up lung, heart, chest. Improving your posture. Now, when you're in the center position, we're going to go into a full circle. Try to draw the elbows close together, oiling the shoulder joint. And reverse. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Take the side bend, inhale your arms up. 
lengthening exhale bend towards the right side. Make sure both legs are sitting down, the other arm is pressing in. Chin is away from the body, looking up. Inhale, arms up, lengthening. Exhale to the other side. Bending the lower arm, top arm is a crescent moon. Chin is away from the body, looking up. Slowly, slowly kind of back to center, we lengthen the spine, exhale, twist. Opposite hand, opposite thigh. Slowly turn, overlooking your shoulder, looking at the back, turning the neck as well. Over every exhale breath, try to turn a little bit more. Stretching our lower back muscles, massaging internal organs. One more breath here. We're going to slowly bring the body back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the other arm up. Forming a crescent, looking up. Slowly, slowly release the other side. Opposite hand, opposite thigh. The other arm on and over. Bring it directly behind your spine. Keep turning, overlooking your shoulder, looking at the back. Turning the neck as well. See if you can turn a little bit more with the help of the front hand. Don't lean back too much. Slowly bring the body back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the other arm up. Forming the crescent, looking up. Slowly, slowly release. Hands on the thighs, sitting up nice and tall. And we're going to come to a toss turn. Starting our small circle, gradually do a deeper and deeper tasso turn. Moving your shoulders as far, warming up the spine. Change direction, go the other way. Slowly, slowly come back to center to release. Inhale your abs up to lengthen the spine, exhale, bow down. Walking your fingers forward, arms off the mat, shoulders relaxed, forehead down, lengthening the spine here. Neck and spine in one straight line, we're not dropping the head. One more breath here, and we're going to slowly, slowly walk your heads back, coming into a neutral tabletop. Spread all your fingers. Wrists underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hip, top of the feet on the mat, neutral spine. When you're ready, we're going to drop our belly, chin up, look up into your calf. Exhale, round your back as much as you can. Pull your belly tight, looking down into your cat. So we're going to do this a few times. At your own breath, and your own pace. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Connecting your breath with your movement. Creating spaces between vertebrae. Can and cows are helping people to relieve back pain. Two more times. And one more. Slowly, slowly come back to neutral, swaying side to side, release tension in your wrist. We're going to take an inhale and center, exhale turn over the right hip, let the hip drop, squeeze the shoulder and the hip together. Inhale, center, exhale to the other side, forming a C shape in your spine. One more. Inhale, center, exhale to the right. Inhale, center, exhale to the left. Slowly, slowly turn back to neutral, swaying side to side. 
coming into the arm balance, right arm elastic up, right thumb to the sky, back to stand, core strong, looking down. Reach and stretch, and we will stay here for three, two, one. If you need to release, release, otherwise we'll turn and grab a hold of back foot. Lifting it up so that the thigh is parallel to the mat. Be mindful of anyone who has wrist or knee issues. Slowly, slowly release. Sway side to side, release tension in the wrist. And we will repeat on the other side, left arm and right leg out, left thumb to the sky, back toes down, reach and stretch, core strong, lengthening. And we're going to stay here for three, two, one. If you need to release, release. Otherwise, we'll turn and grab a hold of the back foot, lifting it up so that the thigh is parallel to the mat. Slowly, slowly release. Swaying side to side. We will come to front the needle. Inhale the right arm up. Exhale, slide through the opening, dropping the right shoulder down. Left arm can be out in front of you or wrapped around your waist. Beginner, you can stay here. If you want to put more body weight on the right shoulder, extend the left leg out on your toes. If you want to challenge yourself, you can lift up the top leg. Both hips are level, regular weight in the head or neck. If this is too much for you, causing you a whole lot of pain, slowly come out of it. Now we are slowly, slowly release, using the left hand to push yourself up. Sway side to side. And we will repeat on the other side. Inhale the left arm. Exhale, side through the opening, dropping the left shoulder down. Right arm can be out in front of you or wrap around your waist. Now you can stay here. If you want to put more body weight on the left shoulder, extend the right leg out on your toes or off the mat or right hand, grab a hold of the right foot, any variation you like to challenge yourself. Don't worry about raising the back leg if this is challenging for you. Be mindful for those who have shoulder issues or any issues at all. Now we will slowly, slowly release. Using the right hand to push yourself up. Sway side to side. We're gonna transition to come lie down on our stomach for back extension. So take your time to come lie down. Legs are your move apart. Top of the feet on the mat. Hands by your chest. When you're ready, we're gonna Press on the top of the feet, kneecaps come soft, hands up, neck is fine in one straight line, and we're going to go up and down five times, and your own breath and your own pace. All the nine on the stomach coasters will hopefully strengthen lower back muscles to support your spine function. Once you have done five, slowly, slowly release. Extend your arms up in front of you, coming into your superman. When you're ready, lifting the hand chest up, arms off, leg and thigh off, reach in the opposite direction. And we're gonna go swimming for five, four, three, two, one, slowly and gently, release, Everything down. Swing your arm behind you, coming into a lotus. If you can interlace the finger, go ahead. Otherwise, arm by your side, not touching the body. Lifting the hand chest up, knuckles towards the heels, lifting thigh up. Looking down, neck and spine are aligned. And we're gonna stay here for five. Three. Two, one, slowly and gently, release everything down. Coming into crocodile, arms are in T, palm facing down. Left cheek on the mat, legs are apart as wide as the mat. Bending the right knee, draw it close to the right elbow, make yourself completely flat. Backing on the left side of your neck, opening up 
the right hip. Relax. Mount yourself into the mat. One more breath in, and we're gonna transition to wing on the ground. So leave the left arm on the floor the way it is, and we're gonna slowly roll over to the side of the body. Bottom leg straight, top leg bend. If you like, can place a block underneath your head for support. Top arm can stay on the mat or wrap around the waist, your choice. Front foot can be in front or behind the straight leg. So adjust the angle to suit your knees. Further stretch of the left shoulder. If this feels like I'm breaking your arm, causing you a whole lot of pain, then you can slowly come out of it. One more breath, and we will slowly bring everything back to the center. Remove your block, retrieve the left arm. Stack the hands on top of each other, bend both knees, windshield wiper. You can either have chin down or forehead down. Feel the slight movement in your lower back, your back swaying side to side. Loosen up. So hopefully all these poses lying on your stomach will help you to strengthen lower back muscles to support your spine. Slowly come back to center. I'm going to do forward, backwards. Bending your knees. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Coming into a bow, grab a hold of one ankle, both ankle. If you can only do one ankle at a time, extend the opposite arm out. If you can grab a hold of both ankle, bottom of your feet towards the sky, hips, and your ankle aligned so we're not opening up the knee. Lifting the hand, chest up, thigh off if you can. If you like, you can rock side to side. Massage internal organs. Relief flow to this in your abdomen area. Also helping you to relieve constipation. We're going to slowly, slowly come back to center to release, coming into a seal, spread all your fingers, align the elbows, hook your shoulders, legs apart as far as the mat, chin is away from the body, looking forward, feel the stretch in your lower back, Now we're gonna start pushing ourselves up to the hand level. Shoulders are relaxed down from the ears. Chin is away from the body, looking forward. If this is too much for you, please lower down to the hand level. 
One more breath here. We're going to slowly and gently release everything down. Once you come all the way down, we're going to go pop down the other side. Arm out in T, shoulder height, palm facing down. Right cheek on your mat. Bending the left knee. Draw it close to the left elbow. Make yourself completely flat. As we stretch out the right side of the neck and opening up the left hip. One more breath here. We're going to transition to weight on the ground. So we're going to keep the right arm on the floor the way it is. And we're going to slowly maneuver ourselves to come lie down on the side. Bottom leg straight, top leg bent. Top leg can be in front or behind the straight leg. Top arm can stay on the mat, wrap around your waist or reach for the same foot. So I'm just going to grab my block. So I elevate my head, neck, and spine out of line. More intensive stretch of the right shoulder. So be mindful for those who have shoulder issues. I can also use my top hand to grab a hold of the top foot. Any variation you'd like to do today? One more breath here. We're going to slowly and gently release. And we'll roll back to the center of the mat. If you're using a block, you can remove it. And we're going to stack our hands on top of each other again. Legs are hip-width apart. You can either have chin down or forehead down. Wiggle your butt side to side, loosen up. Feel the slight movement. In your lower back. Slowly, slowly release. To come out of it, we're going to go into a child pose. Knees apart, big toes to touch. Same the hip down onto the heels. Walking the fingers forward. Elbows off the mat. Shoulders are relaxed, forehead down, lengthening the spine. Now, if you're not able to sit on your ankle because you have very tight ankle and hip joint, you can rest the forehead on stack hands, stack fist, or on a block. Try to sit back as much as you can. We massage the internal organs, lengthening the spine. Massaging the third eye, opening up hip joint, ankle joint, calming your mind for a moment. Slowly, slowly come up, walking your hands over to the right side as far as you can go, and you can release the forehead back down on the mat. Feel the leg in the side of your body. Inhale the lift the head up, walking the hands over to the other side, as far as you can go. And you can release the forehead back down. Feel the length in the other side of the body.
slowly, slowly come back up, walking the hands back to the center. And when we get ready to come up, so knee chain down dog, spread all your fingers, tuck your toes, lift your hips high, high up, coming into a down dog. Walking the dog out by alternating, bending your knees. Inhale to come up on your tippy toes, stretching on the toes. Exhale to lower the heel back down. Again, inhale, up, up, up on your toes. Exhale, down. Inhale, come forward to a high plank. Wrist underneath your shoulder, toes underneath the heels. Exhale, to down dog. Again, inhale, come forward to a high plank. Exhale, to down dog. Slowly walk forward towards the hands. And now you're in a forward bend. Our ten toes facing the front, legs are hip width. Let your stomach rest on the thighs. If you can touch the mat, touch the mat. If you cannot touch the mat, hold on to opposite elbows. Dangle here for a moment. Lengthening the spine, stretching our lower back muscles. Let the blood go the other way for a moment. Getting ready to come up, hands on waist for support. Inhale, halfway up to a flat back. Exhale to slowly, slowly rise up to stand. Let your blood pressure get adjusted. After you've come all the way up, shake it out. Getting ready for sun salutation. So have a sip of water if needed. Come to the top of your mat. Big toes to touch. A Heels slightly apart, align the edge of your feet to the edge of your mat. So listen to your body always to avoid injuries. Inhale, yamsa, back bend, exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway up to flat back, hands on shape, eyes looking forward. Exhale, hands on mat. Stepping back into a plank, shifting the weight forward. Beginners can drop to your knees, tuck your elbow by your side from there. Inhale, cobra, or up dog. Shoulders relax, eyes looking up. Exhale, you can fall back on the knees, tuck your toes, lift your hips high, high up, coming into a down dog, pushing the mat away. We're staying here for five breaths. Spread all your fingers. Bend our index finger facing forward. Separate your feet two feet apart, not too wide, not too narrow. Align your ears by your inner arms. Don't dangle your head. Eyes looking at your toes. Now we look between the hands. Step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale halfway up to flat back. Exhale forward bend. Slightly bend the knees. Inhale your arms all the way up. Palm touch, back bend, and then on down by the side, into a mountain pose. Continue. Inhale your arms up, over salute, back bend. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway up to a flat back. Exhale, hands on that. Step or hop back into a plank. Shifting the weight forward, lower down. Channel run this all one breath. Inhale. Cobra or up dog. Exhale to down dog. Take your time to set up. Lifting the hips high, high up. Pushing the mat away. Release the head down. Shoulders are external rotation. Elbows are internal rotation. Eye of the elbow facing each other. And now we're going to go into low lunge on the right side. Inhale. Right foot forward towards the right hand. Left knee on the mat, square the hip to the front, arms up, holding onto your arm. 
palms facing each other, pinky slightly cupping, shoulders relaxed down from the ears, eyes looking up. Palm knees 90 degree on top of the ankle. Place the palm together, release index finger. We're going to inhale to lengthen, exhale to sink. Slide back bend, looking up. Feel the stretch in the left hip flexor. Slowly, slowly release. Interlace the finger behind. Neck comes down and away from you. Lifting chin up and head back. Shine the chest up to the ceiling, looking up. Feel the pinch in your shoulder blade. Slowly, slowly release. Left arm forward, right arm back. Turn and look at the back. Stabilize yourself. Stomach not resting on the thigh. Turn and look at the back. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Left hand on the mat, right arm up. Open up the top hand, look at the top thumb. Lift and stretch. Slowly, slowly release the top hand. Both hand on the big toe side. Heel toe, heel toe, walking the right foot out to the edge of the mat. Feel free to come on the baby toe side of your foot. Rocking forward, backward, side to side to open up the right hip more. Those who wish to come down on your forearms and up on the back toes, go ahead. Any variation you like to charm yourself. Slowly, slowly release. We're going to come to a twisted dragon. So we're going to bend into the back leg. Inhale the right arm up. Open up the body. You can either wrap the top arm around your waist or reach for the back foot. Coming into a twisted dragon. Be mindful of anyone who has any wrist, elbow, shoulder, knee issues. Don't force your body to go beyond its limits. Slowly, slowly release. Hands on mat. Heel toe, heel toe, walking the right foot back to the center of the mat. Still 90 degree on top of the ankle. Getting ready for the twist. Turn the body to the right side. Left elbow on the outside of the thigh. Hands in prayer. Press the palm together. Turn and look at the top elbow. Stomach not resting on the thigh. Feel free to come up on the back toes and open up the arms for more resistance. So on this side, your modification. Slowly, slowly release. Hands on mat. Make your way to the back of the mat for a hamstring stretch. Come sit down. Point the right toes up to the ceiling. Inhale the left arm up to lengthen. Exhale, we're going to hinge forward, leading with the chest, holding on to any part of the lift for the two. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Inhale the lengthen. Exhale, stomach come down a little bit more. Neck is long, spine is straight. Chin is away from the body. Slowly, slowly come back to center. When we come to see the twist, bring the band leg on the outside of the straight leg. Opposite arm, opposite knee, draw it close to the body. The other arm up and over. Bring it directly behind your spine. Don't lean back too much. Front arm can be a stop sign here. Any variation here. 
keep turning. Mm-hmm. Overlooking your shoulder. Look at the back. Turning the neck as well. Mm-hmm. One more breath. And we're going to slowly bring the body to the opposite side. Bow down. Count and twist. Bending the elbows. More room to come down. Mm-hmm. As we stretch our lower back and oblique the side of the body. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Straighten out the legs. And we are in the start pose. Get the flesh apart out from the butt, hands by your side. Shoulders relaxed mm-hmm. down from the ears, eyes looking forward. Getting ready for double leg forward bend. Inhale, your arms up to me. Exhale, the hinge. Grow longer. Holding on to end of the leg for the toe. Chin is away from the body. Eyes looking forward. Not rounding the back or dropping the head. Slightly mm-hmm. bend the knees and knees if you have tight hamstrings. Using your inhale breath and lengthen. Exhale, stomach mm-hmm. come down a little bit more. Slowly, slowly come back up. And we're going to repeat everything on the other side. So take your time to rise up. And this time we have right knee down, left knee forward. If you need knee support, grab a knee pad or towels, cushion to support your knee. Square the hip to the front when you're ready. Arms up, holding onto your bar. Palm facing each other, pinky slightly coating. Shoulders are relaxed down for the ears, eyes looking up. Place the palm together, release index finger, inhale to lengthen, exhale to sink, slide back then, looking up, through the stretch in the right hip flexor. Slowly, slowly release, roll the shoulder back, interlace the finger behind. Knuckles down and away from you. Shine the chest up to the ceiling. Feel the pinch in your shoulder blade. Chin up, looking up. Slowly, slowly release. Coming into a twist. Right arm forward. Left arm back. Turn and look at the back. Stabilize yourself. Slowly release. Right hand down. Left arm up. Open up the top hand. Look at the top thumb. Slowly, slowly release the top hand. Full hand on the big toe side. Heel toe, heel toe, walking the left foot out to the edge of the mat. Feel free to come on the baby toe side of the foot. Rocking forward, backward, side to side, to open up the left hip. Those who can come down the forearms and up on the back toes, go ahead. Leg is long, spine is straight, we're not dropping the head. If this is too much for you, Causing you pain, please push yourself back up to the hand level. Slowly, slowly release, pushing yourself back up. 
heel toe, heel toe walking the left foot back to the center of the mat. Getting ready for the twist. Opposite elbow, opposite thigh. Bring your hands to heart center. Press the palm together. Turn and look at the top elbow. Stomach not resting on the thigh. If you're coming up on the back toes, lift the heel high, high up. Feel free to open up the arms for more resistance. Any variation you like to challenge yourself. When you have enough of it, slowly, slowly release. Make your way to the back of the mat for hamstring stretch. Come sit down, point the left toes up to the ceiling. Inhale the right arm up to lengthen. Exhale, we hinge forward, grow longer. Holding on to any part of the length of the toe. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Inhale the length. Exhale, start to come down a little bit more. Neck is long, spine is straight. Slowly, slowly rise up, come into a seated twist. Bring the bending on the outside of the straight leg. Opposite arm, opposite knee, draw it close to you. The other arm moving over, bring it directly behind your spine. Keep turning, overlooking your shoulder. Look in the back, turning the neck as well. Front arm can be a stop sign hand, prayer hands. Any variation you like to turn yourself. Keep turning. Overlooking your shoulder, look in the back, turning the neck as well. For every exhale, try to turn a little bit more. Don't lean back too much. One more breath here, and we will slowly bring the body to the opposite side. Bow down, count to twist. Bending the elbows, more room to come down. As we stretch our lower back and opening the side of the body. Slowly, slowly pushing yourself back up. Straighten out the legs. Bounce a few times. Coming into the boat pose. Get the flesh part up from your butt. Bend both knees, hands underneath the kneecap. When you're ready, lift the feet off the ground. First round here, we support it. Don't leave that too much. And we will stay here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one slowly, slowly release. Reset another round. Set yourself up, bend your knees, hands underneath the kneecap, come up on your tippy toes, lift the feet off the ground. You can continue to hold on this way, this way, next level, let go. Strong arm, strong core, work the legs for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, very good, release. And one last round to go when you're ready. Lift your feet off the ground. You can continue to hold on or release, or you can scissor the hands for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly, slowly release. Very good. And now we're going to continue with seated. Bring the sole of your feet together, wrap your hands around the ankle, sitting up nice and tall, rocking side to side. Finding your sitting bones. Fly like a butterfly, flap about 10 times, opening up your joints. 
draw the heel close to you. Grab a hold of the big toe on the entire feet. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, we're going to hinge forward, leading with the chest. Bring the elbows on the outside of the shin. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Neck is long, spine is straight. Opening up the hip joints, stretching out inner thighs. Now we're gonna slowly rise up, slide in the feet a few inches in front of you. This is longer than it is wide. We're gonna go into the TARDIS. Slide the hand underneath to grab a hold of your feet. Inhale the lengthen, exhale hinge, leading with the chest. We can round the back in this one because we are turtles. More intensive stretch of the lower back. Stretching our inner thighs, outer thighs. Slowly, slowly rise up to release. I'm going to winch the wiper. Bend your knees, this is the width. Hands behind you, finger facing the same way as your feet. And we're going to drop the knees from one side to the other side. Let it fall wherever it falls. Knees don't necessarily have to touch the mat. Hips can come up. Now we're going to open up and drop both knees to the right side, forming a 90, 90 degree. You can adjust the angle to suit your needs. Make sure the butt stay down. We're not lifting the hip up. You should feel the stretch here. Quarters up hip joint, looking at the opposite side. A little bit of discomfort. Slowly, slowly come back. And we're going to waste your wiper a few more times. Release any tension that you may have. And when you're ready, we're going to drop both knee to the other side. Forming a 90-90. Make sure we're not lifting the hip up. But stay down as much as you can. You can feel the stretch here. Quarts your side hip joint. Look at the opposite side. Slowly, slowly come back to center, which is going to winch your wiper a few more times, release tension. And when you're ready, we're going to come to a wide leg. Use the length of your mat, ankles on the mat for support. Point the toes up to the ceiling. Get the flesh part out from your butt, sitting up nice and tall. Coming into a wide leg forward bend, inhale your arms up to lengthen. Exhale, we hinge, grow longer. Bring the hands in front of you. We're not reaching forward. And the elbows, small room to come down. <clears throat> Inhale the length and exhale. Keep rolling the hip forward. We're opening up the hip joint. You should feel the stretch in your inner thighs and hamstrings. So slightly bend the knees if you need. Take your time. Inhale the length of the spine to prepare. Exhale. We're going to roll the hip forward. So inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly rise up. Come into a side bend, right finger hooking on the right toes, bring the toes to you. Yeah, arm up, rigid stretch. 
After you have lengthened, you can slowly bring the top up over, forming a crescent looking up. Feel the length in the side of your body, stretching out the organs on that side, stimulating meridian points, acupuncture point. Shine the chest up to the ceiling, keeping your body up and open. Wrapping the top arm around your waist, keeping the top shoulder up and open. Slowly, slowly rise up. We're going to challenge ourselves and lift the hip up. I'm placing my hand close to my body so we're still on the right side. And when you're ready, you can practice lifting up. So grounding the ankle as well. When you're ready, all the way up, top arm up. When you have enough of it, slowly release. And we repeat everything on the other side. So we'll grab up on the big toes or any part of the legs. You can also release the hands, bending the elbows, more room to come down. The other arm up, bridge and stretch, lengthening. After you have lengthened, you can slowly bring the top arm over. Shine the chest up to the ceiling. Coming into a wide leg side bend. Feel the length in the side of your body, stretching out the organs on that side, stimulating meridian point, acupuncture point. Slowly, slowly come back up. And we're going to wrap the top arm around your waist. Continue with your side. Slowly rise up. Now we will bring the hands on each side of this leg. Not too far forward, closer to the body so you have better leverage. Spread out your fingers. Wrists, shoulders are aligned. Use your strong core and grounding the ankle to lift the hip up. So you can practice lifting the hip up first. And when you're ready, Top arm up. When you have enough of this, slowly release. Very good. Now we're going to bring the legs together again. Bounce it out, sitting up nice and tall. And we're going to stretch out the uh, wrist and the ankle at the same time, so forward, backwards. One up, one down, so a little bit of coordination. Continue to strengthen the joint, increase flexibility, mobility, reduce swellness in your joint. Side to side, make sure I could. Strengthening the ankle joint, so it's not so easy to slip and fall and twist your ankle. Circle. Go the other way. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Coming back to our BC seated position, sitting up nice and tall. Close your eyes for a moment. We're going to interlace the finger. Press down, metal, uh, push the skyway, stretching out. The forearm, shoulder exercise. Throw the pitch your shoulder blades. the 
the last one. We're going to push this guy away, coming to a side bend. Outside hand, grab the right side wrist, chin is away from the body, repeat up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to the other side. Outside hand, grab the right side wrist, chin is away from the body, repeat up. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Come down, make a side, shake it up. Make a fist. Inhale, shoulders up to your ears. Make it take, take, take. <sighs> Sign it out to release. Again, inhale, your shoulders up, creating a lot of tension. Exhale, let it go. Two more. Inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, one last one. Inhale, shoulders up. <sighs> Inhale your arms up above the head, palm touch, release index when you grow tall. And then we'll drop the hands to the back of your head. Chin is away from the body, looking up. Inhale the length, exhale, drop the elbow side to side. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Take a breath here. And we're gonna inhale the arms open. Wrap your arms around yourself. Give yourself a big hug. Love yourself always. Part of wellness. If you can go into ego and lock the elbows, grab a hold of the thumb. You end up with the thumb facing your nose. Lift the elbows up and away from the body. Form your nail shape. Slide back by if you can. Slowly, slowly release. Big, big hug on the other side. Wrap your arms around you. If you can go into ego arm, lock the elbow, square the whole thumb. You end up with the thumb facing your nose. Lift the elbows up and away from the body, forming that shape. Slide back by if you can. Slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. Arms up, go pose. Pull back. Feel the pinch your shoulder blades. Opening up the heart chest. Improving your posture. Slowly, slowly release. Shake it out, arms out. Small circle. Go the other way. Slowly release, really shake it up. Forearm stretch. Palm facing me, fingers facing down, lengthening the forearm, opening up the energy channel, stimulating meridian points, at pointer points. And then palm facing up, fingers facing up, palm facing me. Back of the hand facing me, fingers facing down. Back of the hand facing me, fingers facing up. Slowly release, shake it up, the other side, forearm stretch. Palm facing me, fingers facing down. Lengthening the forearm, opening up energy channel. Stimulating meridian points, acupuncture points. Change direction, palm facing me, fingers facing up. Slowly, slowly release, shake it out. From here, we're gonna to come to a comfortable seated position. Go into a brief Shavasana. Close your eyes, soften your face. Relax the jaws. Separate your teeth. Lower the tongue from the roof of your mouth. Scan your body and see if there's anywhere that's still holding on to tension. Let yourself go. Try not to think about anything. Letting go of all your stress, tension, worries, anxiety, 
anything that doesn't serve you anymore. Focusing on your breathing. When you inhale, belly and chest rise like a balloon. And when you exhale, draw the belly button back to your spine. Stay very calm, relax, and still in the present moment, in your own little world. Couple more breath here. And we're gonna slowly open up the eyes, wiggling your fingers, turning your wrist, gently turning your neck left and right. Slowly come back to center, taking our three final closing breath. Inhale your arms up above the head, Lengthening your spine, turn the palm out, exhale down. Once again, deep, deep inhale through your nose and deep, deep exhale through your nose. We never hold our breath. One more. Inhale, turn long. Exhale, down. To close the practice, we'll bring the hands to our center. Thank you very much for joining me, sharing a positive energy with all of us and letting me guide you through this practice. Always my pleasure. Namaste.